Powell, I'm the Sales Director at Spectra Packaging. Uh, we're a business that specialises in injection moulding, extrusion bowl moulding and injection stretch bowl moulded products, predominantly aimed at the personal care industry. Um, we pride ourselves on, on uh, a very customer focused, flexible way of working with our customers, meet the very, very uh, heavily evolving challenges of the packaging market today. There's, there's an awful lot of pressure on the packaging market at the moment to talk about sustainability. Uh, if you, I think wherever you go in the show today, you'll be, you'll be looking at that. And in fact, yesterday there was a big, what they call the big debate on, on plastic packaging. So what you'll see from a lot of, a lot of manufacturers is um, talking about what, we can, what they can offer in terms of sustainable packaging material options to, to their customers. Um, and obviously we're no, we're no different. Where I do think Spectra is a little bit different is um, we, we try and take some of that onus a little bit away. At the moment, it's very much a case of um, here is our biopolymer options, here are our post-consumer recycled material options, this is what's available to you, now it's over to you to make the decisions as to what you would like to use. Uh, as Spectra is a business, we realise that as a packaging manufacturer processing vast amounts of plastics, um, we feel it's our responsibility to take some of that on to ourselves. So this year saw us launching our PCR10 initiative, whereby all of our customers have 10% recycled uh, retype material in their packaging as standard. Uh, and in fact, should they not want that, they need to actively opt out. And that's an element of us trying to take some level of responsibility for that, for that, that initiative. Um, but it doesn't stop there. I, th I think, again, the focus on sustainability tends to be, here are the options, this is what we do. But for Spectra, we see sustainability really working around four key pillars, not just the one. So the first one we talk about is our manufacturing impact. Now, as a business, um, we're, we're constantly looking at what we can do to reduce our impact on the environment. So, um, we, whether it's from changing our machinery to the latest servo-driven machinery from more conventional hydraulic machines, um, reducing our energy impact, whether it's looking at the air source heat pumps that we use to run the climate control in our factory. As a growing business, we're always going to be using more energy, but what we can try and do is to actively reduce the amount of energy that any single container uses in its manufacture. And that's kind of our driven mandate, to reduce on a per container basis the amount of energy being used. The second thing is, is moving on to how we look at our, our waste, whether it's from being part of ISO 14001, um, joining in the, uh, the BPF's initiative around Operation Clean Sweep, which is all looking about uh, commitments around pellet containment and making sure that loose plastic pellets aren't entering the water table and even how we deal with our own manufacturing waste. So at Spectra, all of our manufacturing waste is, is gathered. Um, it's all ground and reprocessed and wherever possible put back into packaging, back into our own manufacturing process. If that's not possible, it's then recycled so that none of our manufacturing waste goes to landfill. And then moving on, it's the, the smaller details, I guess, moving from things like um, all, of our, all of our packing materials, our cardboard boxes, are made from not only FSC sustainable materials, but they're also made from recycled card. All of our pallets are second use. And even down to, to silly things like our cups. Last year we removed all plastic cups from our factory and asked our staff to, to bring in their own china cups. This took 54,000 plastic cups a year, single-use disposable plastic cups a year, out of circulation overnight. So this is kind of where we say it's not just about the one pillar, which is putting the responsibility on the, on the, uh, the brand owner and the consumer, but it's about looking at that wider picture. And I think really that's what makes Spectra different. So as we were talking about earlier, we were talking about uh, sustainability being the key, and we've already talked about the four pillars under which Spectra operates. However, looking at materials is obviously very key to a lot of people. So here we're trying to give our, our, our customers that opportunity to understand the different, the different options that they have available to them. So the first one is post-consumer recycled plastics. And this is taking plastics that have already been used in a retail environment, reprocessing them and repurposing them to make new packaging. So with HDPE and PET, these are the two most common polymers. Um, and uh, these, are, these are the most commonly recycled materials. HDP comes exclusively from milk bottles. The PET, predominantly from things like water bottles and, and soda, whether it's you know, fizzy drinks and so on. Um, we all throw these away at home. We're all very used to throwing these away at home, putting them in our recycling. Um, they're then collected, harvested, and they're segregated into their component materials, crushed down, ground up, and then they're reprocessed. And just to give people a little bit of an idea really, what you can see here is this, this, this yellow bottle here on the left hand side is made of from pure virgin plastics. And then we're going from 25%, 50% and 100% reused plastics all within the same colour. So people can kind of see the, the, the colour impact. We're just trying to give people that, that level of understanding that 
Yes, you can have the recycled materials. This is fantastic. Use them. We encourage people to use them. But there obviously are some levels of compromise that come with that. Then we move on to um, the, the bioplastic side of things. And this is probably one of the hardest areas for people to understand. And bioplastics tend to deal with two ends of the spectrum. We're either talking about start of life or end of life. So when we're talking about start of life, we're talking about those products that are manufactured sustainably, whether it's from starches or sugar canes and so on and so forth. So taking those, those raw materials, those raw chemicals from sustainable element and turning them into base polymers that can then be turned into plastics. With end of life, you're then talking about ideally the, the biodegradable materials and some of those come from additives, some of those come from the polymers naturally breaking down themselves. And so we're, we're looking at both ends of the spectrum here and then that, that golden area of overlap where potentially they are both sustainably manufactured but also potentially then degrade naturally into biomass. This is quite a challenging area. Um, it's not one I'm going to go into a great de detail at the moment, but again, it's an area where we're trying to work very hard with our customers to help them make the right choice that suits their business. So every year we try and bring new, new products to these shows. Um, this year we're, we're pleased to be bringing in a, a partnership with a, a company from Italy called Mavjars, um, who make some fantastic new products um, from PET and polypropylene jars. Working very much like Spectra, they have a strong initiative around environmental issues. Um, so they're able to offer post-consumer recycled PET jars, as well as the sugarcane based biopolymer PP. Um, and this, uh, as well as the PET in fact. So this is uh, something that sits very much uh, sort of in conjunction with what we do and they work in a very similar way. On top of that, we've also brought in some, um, some new closures of our own. We're pleased to bring in our, our new double flip top, which gives a nice dispensing option working off of a standard 24 410 neck and this is something again we think is going to work really well for the industry um, and then moving on we've also brought in um, a whole range of new pilot tools so we have we've uh, got this new closure here this is our 30 30 oval flip top um, and this year we're showcasing six new bottles that we pilot tool um, where we can show not only the, the our skills with the pilot tools but also the flexibility of the closure to bring in new designs so you've had a chance to have a look around. If you want to work with a business that is uh, truly flexible and um, will take the time to work in a, in a proper partnership, why not pop along and have a look at our website, www.spectra-packaging.co.uk.